Hi guys, bonjour les amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. I was given some beautiful apples by the neighbors. I love my neighbors. And uh, I was telling Sam about this idea, and she goes, Mom, it's already been done. I was like, okay, sorry. But anyways, I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to do it apple and walnuts egg roll, or toast roll. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Anyways, we'll see. You guys ready? Let's go. Chin chin. All right, you guys, so I've got my apples ready. I'm using Macintosh. They were given to me, so that's what I'm using. But if you're going to buy apples, I would use Granny Smith. It, it really doesn't matter. With the stuff we're going to put in there, it's going to taste delicious. So it's four apples, all right? And this is the Mueller chopper, and I've got the tiny blade. It comes in a, a, a thicker blade. How do I say it? Bigger squares, whatever. I'm going to use the tiny one. I'm going to put little pieces of apple. I just... So I'm gonna look on Amazon if they're still selling it on Amazon. It was a recall. This is the brand new version. Uh, my other one worked fine, but they let me know that I could have a, the newer one with this latch fixed right here, the lock. All right, so I'm gonna do all these apples. Look at that, look at these tiny little pieces. That's what we're looking for. And I'll finish this and I'll be back, we'll be back. All right, so here we go. Here are the beautiful apples. Filled up that whole container. Let's put that in that bowl. And then we're gonna put some lemon juice in there to give it a little zing because we're gonna put a lot of sweet to the tang, to the zing, to the zang. <laughs> Don't mind me. But um, the lemon is gonna keep the, the apples from turning too much too brown. It doesn't mean that, but it puts a little bit of flavor in there. So I'm gonna squeeze half of the lemon in there, okay? All right, put that over here. And keep the camera going for you. Look how beautiful those little petite little. They're so nice. You could do um, potatoes in there. It slices potatoes pretty good. So you can do some nice diced up hash browns for breakfast. All right, so here we go. I got, I'm gonna write it down below. This is a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. This is a teaspoon of cinnamon. Nutmeg and cinnamon go well together. Um, three tablespoons of flour. You need a thickening agent. Help that the juices to stay in there. And uh, I've got a half a cup. Wait, no, wait, hang on. A quarter cup of white sugar and a third cup of brown sugar. Okay. Mix it up. And some butter. Right here, I've got uh, a half a stick of butter. Four tablespoons. And I just, it's not totally hot, it's just soften a little bit uh, in the microwave for about 10 seconds, okay? So let me mix this up, and then I'm gonna put a cutting board here and we'll show you what's gonna happen. All right, so I've got that mixed up, and I'm gonna put a cup of walnuts. I cut them up in little pieces, okay? Oh yeah. Knowing Tommy, probably like, where's the chocolate chips? But I'm trying to do like a nutty apple pie. A nutty apple pocket. What's that thing from McDonald's? Apple pocket pie, something, something. I don't know, it's been so long. Oh yeah, you could use pecans if you want to, but I had walnuts. It's kind of like a softer nut anyway, so. So then you'd have a pecan, apple, turner, turnover. Is that what it is? Turnover, yeah, please. All right. So let me get the air fryer ready because I'm going to get my hands dirty. I'm using the Rapid Crisp. You can use any air fryer you want. If you don't have a bottom burner, just remember to flip it over halfway so it cooks on all the sides. I'm going to spray some olive oil. Yes. Okay. And you'll see this in a minute. I've just got a limited space here. The bread du jour, du jour is Wonder Bread. Yes. So I think I'm gonna make about five of this. And this filling, I can freeze that and just like save it for another day. Pretty much, I will take a bite out of it. I'll taste it if Tom's not here, but um, he likes the dessert sweet stuff. I, I'm, I'm not crazy about it. So do I wanna leave the crust on or what? Crust on, crust off. I think it'll be all right. Then we'll leave the crust on. All right, so let's roll it flat. That's about all there is. This one's got a hole in it. That's not good. We don't want the filling to uh, seep out of there. So, what I'm going to do is when I put it in the air fryer, where the, there's a hole, I'm going to put that on the bottom. All right, so let's put a little bit of this stuff in there. Not too much. Actually, 
I've got something else first. I've got an egg wash here. I got a it's one egg and a tablespoon of water. Okay. So let's brush that. That'll help it hold it together. Just like an egg roll, but you're using bread. There we go. And we put some of that in there. Isn't that beautiful? All right, like that. Now you're gonna start with the corner, okay? You're gonna start with the corner, go halfway, and fold the sides in. Tuck that inside. All right, I was gonna put that on the bottom, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna seal it with some egg wash. It's gonna close that hole up. So are you right? Uh, right there we have uh, kind of like an egg roll shape. All right, so let me finish all this. You want me to do another one? Okay, this one doesn't have a hole. It's just that wonky one, so that's okay. Could be easier without the crust, but I'm doing it this way. Let's brush it. Hopefully you can see. Filling corner to the center, fold the sides in, and roll it up. All right, there you go. Okay, so you put it seam down in the air fryer. Don't let them touch together because they need to be cooked on all the way around. I'll I'll do a couple more of these. I'll change the angle to the air fryer and we'll go. From all right, I've got four, eight. I've got eight. Okay, so the rest of this egg wash. You're gonna brush the toast, and that'll help hold everything together. I would not suggest using spray because it's not gonna give it that nice golden, that one with the hole there, I'm gonna put a little bit more egg on there. I may need some more egg wash, I don't know. All right, so let me finish doing this and I'll be right back. All right, so I ended up getting another egg and a tablespoon of water. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on there. Yas. We're going to cook it slow, okay? Because that toast is going to cook up faster than those apples. So let's just slow it down. Not everything needs to be cooked on high uh, heat in an air fryer, okay? So with that, if you want to know what the temperatures, the numbers, temperatures mean, it's all listed down below. I usually go to, to manual about everything I do plug it in because it works with electricity all right here we go so the manual let's go to manual right there I'm going to turn it down to two because I want like I said I want those apples to cook let's turn that bottom on 30 minutes is way too long but I'm going to leave it at that so we know how much time it has elapsed okay and let's go and I'll be back hey guys we got 10 minutes left I haven't touched anything kept the settings as is and look it smells so good in here smells like apple pie no joke so I'm gonna plate that and uh, I don't know if Tom's gonna be home in town uh, in home in time but I'll taste it anyways I'll show you what I'm gonna put on top I don't have any ice cream because we're far from the store Tom loves ice cream anyway so if I bought some it would be gone in about a day <laughs> but uh, I've got some whipped cream and a canned stuff from another video so I'm gonna use that but anyways I'm gonna let that cool a little bit all right we'll be back you guys, Tom made it home, so he's gonna try it. I cut one and a half for pictures, but look at that. Oh, that looks good. Apple walnut pie pockets. I don't know, maybe that's what I'll call it. Oh, okay. No ice cream for you though. Oh. Sorry. It's hot. Very good. Very good? Mm-hmm. Be better with ice cream? I need these again. Yeah. Um, drizzle maple syrup on it. Well, I almost did, yeah. So and that's be, an option you could That would be awesome. Yeah, well, okay. Well, there you go, guys. Look how easy they are. It's fun, fun to make, too. When you have apples you don't know what to do with, put some nuts in there and no seasonings, and you're good to go. Wrap it up in some bread, some flat bread. Did you say hi to everybody? Hi, everyone. All right. It's got to be real maple syrup, though. Of course it has. From Jim from Canada. All right. Thanks for guys. Thanks for shopping. Stopping by, you guys. My goodness. Thanks for shopping. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.